Hey everyone, welcome to 5.2 part 1. This will be a two-part section. I'm going to go over adding, subtracting, multiplying, and a little bit of dividing polynomials, okay? Um, so let's just get started with adding polynomials. It's pretty simple. It doesn't matter if it's in parentheses or not because um, a plus sign is never going to change uh, when you distribute it. It's never going to change the signs before. So really all I'm going to do is I'm just going to color coordinate here, and I'm going to underline um, my like terms. And uh, let's see here. So I'll do this with a double line. Yeah, there. Okay. Um, so I have 3x to the third plus x to the third. So that's going to be 4x to the third. All right. And then I have. 2x squared minus 10x squared. So like plus a negative 10x squared if you want to read it like that. Um, so that'll be negative 8x squared. And negative x plus, there's nothing else over there, so minus x. And then you had negative 7 plus a positive 8. So negative 7 plus 8. Uh, same thing as 8 minus 7, so that's just going to be a positive 1. So nothing combines because you don't have any other like terms now. You know you can go a step further if you didn't accidentally, um, you know, if you accidentally didn't combine two things. You would see it in the your answer. Um, but yeah, that's all I could say about example one. That's it. Okay. So why don't you pause the video and try example two for yourself. Okay, so here's example two. I got 9y to the third. I have nothing else to the third power. I have 3y squared. I have negative 5y squared. I have negative 2y. I have a y. And I have a 1 and a negative 4. So um, let's see here. 9y to the third plus nothing. 3y squared minus 5y squared, that would be negative 2y squared. Um, negative 2y plus a y is going to be negative y. And 1 minus 4, I hope this shows up, that's why I didn't use green on the one before, but 1 minus 4 would be negative 3, because um, this green color is pretty light. Um, but that's the final answer there, okay? Now let's talk about subtracting polynomials. This is where it's important to distribute um, the negative, okay? So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna draw an arrow of me distributing the negative, and then I'll, I'll rewrite everything, and I will change the signs on everything I just distributed the negative to. So minus two x to the third, minus six x squared, plus x and minus 1. Okay, so now I'll do the same thing I did before. Let's color coordinate. So I got 8x to the third minus 2x to the third. No, no other terms to the third power. I got negative 3x squared, negative 6x squared. Negative 2x and x. And then... I just have this negative one right there. So I don't have any other plain numbers. So it'll start off with 8x to the third minus 2x to the third. So that's 6x to the third. And negative 3x squared minus 6x squared is negative 9x squared. And negative 2x plus x is negative x. And then... Um, minus 1. I forgot to write it in different colors this time, but I think you get the picture. All right, so that's it for example 1. Again, why don't you pause example 2 and try it on your own. All right, so here's example 2. I'm distributing the negative over here, so I'll rewrite it. 2z squared plus 3z, um, 3z minus 3z squared minus c plus 4, just flipping those signs. So it looks like I have 
a 2z squared minus 3z squared, so that'll leave me with negative z squared. And then I have a 3z minus z, so that's 2z. And then I have this plus 4 on the end that's just all by its lonesome. So, final answer. Okay? Now, let's talk about basic multiplying of polynomials. The reason why I say basic is because there's... Um, not going to be a whole lot of terms here, okay? Um, so when you multiply, you know, you distribute if you see parentheses. Um, so everything's basically going to go up by a degree. What's x times negative x squared? That'll be negative x to the third. What's x times 2x? That's 2x squared. What's 4 times x? That's 4x. That's the final answer, okay? Okay, example two, we got two, exam uh, two binomials here. So you're going to do y times 3y, so that'll give me 3y squared. And then y times negative 3 is negative 3y. And then, let me try and fix this y real quick. Getting a little distracted, but okay. So y times negative 3 is negative 3y. And then I'm going to do 5 times 3y, so that's 15y. And then 5 times negative 3 is negative 15. And let's add like terms. Do I have three y's, any other 3y squareds? No. So 3y squared. Do I have any other y's? Yeah, right there in the middle. Negative 3y plus 15y. Well, that'll make uh, 12y. And then I have minus 15 all by itself. So minus 15. And that is all I have to say about that. Okay, let's move on to the next section. Okay, so here we have some basic dividing of polynomials. I say basic because it will get more complicated, like when you get into long division um, and synthetic division, um, although synthetic division is easier than long division. Okay, so if you're dividing by x, um, perhaps you want to rewrite it. I, it's up to you. Um, because you're basically doing this, just dividing everything by x. So remember, when you uh, divide with exponents, you need to subtract your uh, subtract the powers. So basically, what I'm doing is I'm doing uh, this is all dividing by x to the first power. So I have x to the third divided by x to the first power. So three minus one is two. So I have x squared left over, and on the next one, I have 4x squared um, divided by x, so that's 2 minus 1, so that's just going to leave by 1, so I'll put plus 4x. And, you know, maybe I'm over-explaining this, but, you know, you have 2x um, to the first power divided by x to the first power, so your x's will essentially cancel um, because... It'd be 1 minus 1, and that's 0. x to the 0 power is 1, and 2 times 1 is 2. So that's the very long explanation. Um, you can also think of it like this. x to the third power um, divided by x is... x to the third power would be triple x, like x times x times x divided by x. You have two x's cancel out. That means you have an x squared left over. That's, you know, um, another way to kind of understand uh, dividing with exponents if you consider this to be your weakness, is to, to write it out like that. Um, but, yeah, just remember you're going to basically end up subtracting powers. Okay? So, if you'd like, try this example yourself. Pause the video because I'm about to go over it right now. All right. So, um, like I did before... I'm just going to write divide by 2x squared instead of having it written like that um, just because it's easier to um, visually see it. Okay, what is 4 divided by 2? I know that. That's 2. So you're dividing, you're still dividing the coefficients, the big numbers, but you're going to subtract the exponents. What is 4 minus 2? Well, that's 2. So 2x squared. Again, if I wanted to write 4x to the 4th, I could write it like this, and I could write 2x squared like this, 
And so you'd see that the two x's would cancel out, and you'd know you know four divided by two is two, so you'd get two x x, which is two x squared, which is what I just wrote down. So, um, yeah, it, you know, just another way of, of teaching it to you, really. Um, what's three divided by two? That's one point five, or it just stays a fraction. So. I'm going to keep it as a fraction, 3 over 2. So what's x to the third divided by x squared? Well, what's 3 minus 2? That's 1. So I just have 1x left over. That's the final answer. And that wraps it up for these notes, okay? Um, so if you're one of my students, make sure you've done your assignment, you know, your exit quiz. And um, thanks for watching. Bye.